useful tank again. Whenever anybody was in trouble, Thomas was always there to help. And because Thomas helped, the referees are made right on time. Not a single confusion or delay. Beep, beep. One morning, Thomas was at Farquhar Station. The Thomas had a wife on board Percy. Thomas, I need you to pick up a very important passenger. He's a firefighter and a hero. He rescued three people from the fire in the house. A hero? Now we're going to give him a medal. Tom, so Thomas checked away to pick up the fireman. He was very excited. He was going to meet the real hero. On the way, Thomas met a lot of children at the bus stop. They were excited too. We're going to see the firefighter ceremony. Where is the bus is taking us there? Then, up ahead, Thomas held Charlie right next to a tree. The tree was starting to wobble. Thomas held that Charlie was right next to it. Oh no! The tree was about to hit on Charlie. I must rescue him. <laughs> Thomas blew his whistle very loudly. Beep, beep. Quick, Charlie, get out of there now. So Charlie moved quickly forward as the tree and the crash to the ground. Are you okay, Charlie? Well, yes, I'm fine. But you do realize that the lumberjacks were pushing the tree over there, right? But Thomas didn't even see the Wumberjacks. The Wumberjacks were just standing right over there watching the tree to fail. Oops. Sorry about that, Jari. That's okay. Everybody does that sometimes. Wait, did they? Um, no. Would you like to help me clean up the tree? I'm sorry, Jari, but I had no time to help you. I had to pick up the fireman. <laughs> He's a hero. Soon, Thomas had a ride to the fork of the track. Then, he looked over to the right, and he saw a bunch of fans. They were coming off the tracks. <laughs> that looks dangerous, said Thomas. I had to must reward the cinnamon. Soon, Thomas had a ride to the cinnamon box. There's some random fans on the line. The engines must take another track. Soon, the cinnamon changed the points. Just then, Tana ended up racing along the junction. Then she switched over to the main line. Tana was surprised. Thomas felt very pleased with himself. Beep, beep. I bless you, Tana, he said. Now, I am the real hero now. Then, Thomas saw Toby. Steam had been releasing from Toby's axles. Toby must be stuck into the fork of the track. Another engine might come by. Uh -oh. oh no, it's Henry's whistle. I had to get Toby out of the way. Then Thomas buffed up to Toby and pushed him as hard as he could. Uh, wait, what's going on? <sighs> Don't worry, Toby, said Thomas, as he shunted Toby into another side. They got Toby out of the way just in time before Henry and the past. I rescued you, Toby. Well, yes, but I'm waiting for the mechanic to fix me. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> And cinders and ashes, said Thomas. I forgot to pick up the fireman. <sighs> Sir Topham had is definitely going to be cross at me. Baby! Just then, Percy chopped in. Percy! 
Percy, will you collect the fireman for me? Percy was very pleased. You have to hurry. The ceremony starts soon. So Percy wastes away. Thomas knew exactly what he gonna do now. He helped Charlie and the Wumberjacks to get the tree out of the way. Soon, Thomas was puffing on his way to the Santa Morty. Just then, he saw Bertie the bus. The children were standing around him. What's the matter? Thomas asked. I've broken down, Thomas, said Bertie. Now I won't take these children to the mile ceremony. Shall I take them for you? Yes, please. <laughs> Soon, the children were on board and in Clarabelle. Beep, beep, and Thomas puffed away. Soon, Thomas has a wife at the mail ceremony just in time. Bandit and Sir Tom Hank gave the firefighter his medal. The children were very happy. You were a hero. And you were a hero too, Thomas. Thomas beamed from buffer to buffer.